Hello, my name is Steve Livermore. I'm the pastor of Messiah United Methodist Church in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, and this is Messiah's Daily Devotional. The scripture for today is from Mark chapter 14, beginning at verse 32. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, stay here while I pray. He took Peter, James, and John along with him, and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. Going a little farther, he fell to the ground and prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. This uh, stained glass window is probably the most familiar of the windows in our church. And that's because it's the center of our focus. When we gather for worship and we're uh, singing our hymns, when we're saying our prayers, when we're listening to the scripture read or the uh, sermon being preached, right there in front of us is this stained glass window of Jesus praying in the garden. It was at the garden of Gethsemane that Jesus made a choice. He asked his father that if it was possible that the hour could pass from him, But he said, not my will be done, but yours be done. In that moment, when Christ made the decision to do his Father's will, he made a choice not only to obey his Father, but he made a choice that affected you and me and all of creation for eternity. He chose to be willing to lay down his life the next day at Calvary on the cross. And the reason he did that was because not only did he want to be obedient to his Father, but he wanted you and me and every other person on the face of the earth to know that God loved them and that God was willing to give his own son to lay down his life for the forgiveness of their sin. What more appropriate picture could we have before us every time we gather to worship than this picture? Jesus praying that God would give him the strength and the resolve to accomplish the plan of salvation that had been laid from the foundation of the earth because he loved you and he loves me. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for making the choice for us and being willing to give yourself that we might know our sins forgiven and new life. Help us, Lord, to keep our eyes focused upon you. And Lord, help us to choose what you choose, to do God's will. In his name we pray. Amen. God bless you and have a great day.